Hi everyone, Rick Bray with BT BOCES Instructional Technology Support, and I'm here today to give you an overview of the new Dell 7017T interactive touchscreens. They're very similar to the smart boards that you may have had previously in your classroom, but before we get into the similarities and differences, let's make sure we understand what this tool really is. First, what you may be familiar with as smart boards in your classroom were really two things. There was the actual physical board that allowed you to interact with your computer. Then there was the smart notebook software that you may have used to create class materials. The Dell screen takes the place of the physical smart board in your class in this case. It's a touch interface that allows you to manipulate your computer via the screen. The Dell screens have some major advantages over smart boards. First, smart boards work by physical touch. There were two layers inside the board itself with a very small space separating them that had to actually make contact in order for the board to realize there was touch happening. Well, over time, those can wear out or they can become damaged, leading to the board inevitably failing. The Dell screen instead works on infrared sensing. If you look around the bezel of your screen, you'll see a thin strip, and that's where the infrared beams are projected from. This area creates a harmless, invisible infrared network. The screen knows that you touched it when something breaks that plane. There's no need to actually touch the screen, but it's perfectly fine if you do so. This also means that there's no need to calibrate your screen if in the case that the projector or the board moves a little bit, and that always drove me nuts. Uh, so these screens are ready to go right out of the box with no calibration. Another advantage is that smart boards only allowed one point of touch. The Dell screens can support up to 10 simultaneous contact points. Now it's up to the software or the platform that you're using if it can actually utilize those multiple points. But the important thing I want to stress is the board can recognize up to 10 simultaneous contact points. Finally, the backlit display of the Dell screen means that you don't have to worry about ambient light, making it hard to see the projected image like you may have had in your smart board, which was a huge problem in my classroom. So again, instead of the projector shining light onto the surface, this is backlit, meaning the light comes from behind the surface, and it makes ambient light less of a problem. It also can help with the greater viewing angle. People can see it from uh, different angles easier. So what does this board actually come with? Well, in addition to the board itself, there are two styluses, styli, sty anyway, there's two styli, uh, we'll call it that, which you can use to offer more precision when you're interacting with the board or if you just want to keep your screen a little bit cleaner and not use fingerprints. But again, it's perfectly fine if you touch the screen. Uh, it's perfectly fine if you use the stylus. Some people may prefer the stylus. Some people it clicks when you write because it's a hard surface. So total personal preference, but that's what it's there for. Keep in mind, the screen does have a coating on it that helps reduce glare and fingerprints. So because of this coating, I'm going to ask you to contact your IT representative with what you should use to clean the surface in the event that it becomes dirty. Uh, I can tell you right off the bat, Windex is probably not going to be a good solution. Stuff like Windex could dissolve that layer away. So we don't want to do that. Uh, the screen also comes with a remote, uh, and I've included a link in the comment section of this video to a copy of the screen's user manual, and page 8 and 9 show what all of the remote buttons do, but here are some that I thought would be really good to know. First, the input button. That's going to allow you to switch the input coming into the screen, which is going to be helpful if you have multiple input sources, maybe like your computer, uh, a DVD player, a document camera, etc. The brightness, you can turn up or down the brightness of your screen as you see fit. Uh, just keep in mind in the long run, the brighter your screen, the shorter its lifespan. So just something to keep in mind with that one. Uh, the preset modes. This allows you to toggle between different color settings 
And I think you can program in your own preset modes, which means you can have a dark setting and a light setting. So you can just flip it instead of having to scroll the brightness button up and down. Mute, kind of self-explanatory. It gives an audio mute. And then you have the ability to hide your screen. Uh, when you press the left button on the directional pad, that causes this interactive screen to go white. I'm not sure if you can change that, like maybe to make it go black, um, but I'm gonna look into that. To exit this uh, hide screen mode, just hit the right button. You might think to hit the left again, but you hit the right button. So going back to what we said earlier, this Dell screen replaces the physical smart board in your classroom. That means if you still have access to the smart notebook software, you can interact with the files through the board and interact with smart notebook through the board. If you don't have access to smart notebook software and you need help migrating to a different environment, please feel free to set up an appointment with me. I hope this video helped answer some of the questions you have regarding your Dell Interactive Touchscreen. Throughout the year, if you have any mechanical problems with the screen, please file a ServiceNow ticket so that that can be remedied as quickly as possible. If, however, you have questions on how to use the screen, how to interact with it, or maybe you're not sure how to implement your particular classroom resources using this screen, please feel free to email me or you can visit this website and book an appointment with me. So with that, thank you for watching. Have a great year.